Hello everybody, it's me, and today I'm here making another video, but I actually have nothing better to do with my life today, so today I'm going to be doing a book review on, get ready for it, The Jewel by Amy Ewing. This is going to be a spoiler review, just a warning, because I really want to dive in to the story and talk about all the things. First... Let's talk about the characters. Let's start with this lovely, not really lady on the front named Violet Lasting. She is, um, she is the typical YA female. And you probably know what I'm saying by that. It's usually dystopian thriller, things like that, where this girl is part of this thing that's greater than them or whatever it can be anything really you can think of and she something occurs to make her believe that everything she knew is a lie and she's really distraught that basically sums up violet lasting some of the things she has to go through really suck but i cannot express how frustrating that she is. First of all, she's here for two months and all this occurs. Just keep that in mind this whole book review, okay? When she's going through all these things that in Southgate, which is um, a sector that is part of like um, this wheel and they have different sectors um, leading up to the jewel and Southgate and three other things that I don't remember are the lowest sector and she is special just like every YA main character ever and what I was actually surprised about is when there's different lot numbers from 1 to 200 I was honestly really surprised when she was not lot 200, but she was still top 10, which is totally predictable because obviously there's got to be something special about her. Apparently, she's really good at these auguries, which are different powers that they have. I don't really know how to explain them. It's kind of confusing. You don't really get to know a lot of how they work. Violet gets auctioned to one of the best houses in the jewel, not the electricity. Her owner is very interesting i i actually really like the duchess so let's talk about the duchess but her i know her name is pearl at first she comes off really harsh and brutal because she makes um violet wear a leash in public and at that point it was like oh my gosh Violet already wants to kill herself this second day. The Duchess already has a 19-year-old son via surrogate, and his name is Garnet. She could have gotten a surrogate at the auction for 19 years after he was born, but then she decided, no, I'm going to wait 19 years, so that's what she did. She just really is always upset by him because he is always being stupid and... A drunk she also has this I feel like secret side to her because there are a few times when it came out and it's really kind of just like you want to know what happened to her to make her like think the way she does because it's really weird because sometimes you think she's gonna say one thing but then she actually does the other there's the most depth to her character than I think the other characters but next because we are on the subject of that I want to talk about Garnet. I was expecting him to be the main love interest, but he wasn't, which I'm really sad about now, finishing it, because I really liked his character. He was only in, like, five scenes in the book, like, not five chapters, but five scenes, and that was really upsetting because he was a really interesting character as well. He could lay off the alcohol a little bit, but he he's fun, and he doesn't take life too seriously, and I think in... Where was I? I don't know. My grandma just kind of scared me. But I don't know where I was. So I'm just going to move on. Next, I want to move on to 
illusion. I didn't know how I felt about him and then I saw something and I kind of realized that this is, this is completely accurate, that Lucian is basically Senna. That's it. Next um, is Ash. He's the typical YA male. So that, obviously, is why Violet and Ash go together like peace in a pod because they are basically the same person. Ash is like, he's all like, oh, mushy gushy in love and... He says all these things, and then he's just like, no, but we can't. But we will. And, like, it's just... Because he sees her from afar, and he interacts with her by accident. And then he realizes that he loves her. Because they just have so much in common, because their lives both suck. They had to be so cliche, it was annoying. And after one month of being together, said I love you, and I was like, this is terrible. Ash was just so freaking annoying and he was the worst. I thought for sure that all of this was gonna be a scam. He was gonna do like a Hans like, if only there was someone who loved you, but he didn't. And that's really upsetting because I really wanted him to be a bad character like Maven or something. Now that we got through the characters, let's move on to the actual story. I like stories when it's really weird and like, um, people have to be surrogates because this certain group of people cannot um have children because i'm really interested in like um different people's lives even though that sounds stalkerish it's not it's just um p different people's lifestyles really interest me this one was just so cliche after a while like there was so much potential for this to be really unique it was lacking everything happened so fast with ash and violet and everything and that was really frustrating because they were really do not like them together and they're just annoying people everything happens kind of conveniently except for that whole thing with violet and ash at the end that was just dumb because i knew it was gonna happen she's in the library and she comes across lucian and she's like oh hey i didn't expect to see you there like he doesn't even work there and it's just so convenient and i'm like that's so dumb like <laughs> <laughs> other part that was convenient was when um the doctor impregnated her two times like surrogate wise and both of the pregnancies failed because she wanted to get out and he said usually the second time always works and for her it didn't which is magically convenient because she wanted to leave it that night but the cover was so pretty and i was like i have serena Fortunately, the cover does not match the con. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I was going to give it 2. But then I gave it 3 just because Garnet is awesome. That is my completed book review. So I hope you all liked it. Do what you feel. I'm not going to make you subscribe or like. But please do because that would be very helpful. So thank you for watching. Come back again next video because I'm going to be here. Bye.